model setup. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the model setup over the next few holes. But the model setup is what they did biomechanically. They put all the great swings into a computer and broke it down by frame by frame. And they broke down to see what do good ball strikers do. And from that, they developed a model grip, a model setup, a model back of the swing, the whole nine yards. You'll see most of your traditional golfers using the model, okay? And they do pretty well with it. So this is gonna show you just another way to skin the cat. It has some things that I really enjoy, and it has some things that I think you need to work on if you want to start playing a model golf swing, what they call the model golf swing. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this ball, and we're gonna go ahead and get on with this. The model setup is set up to the ball with your feet together. Turn your target side foot out 25 degrees. Bring your rear foot back depending on the length of the, the shaft you're using. With a driver, it's going to be more wide. You know, it's going to step in. Okay, that's going to allow you to have a full hip turn, a full coil, and it's going to allow you to release with as much power as possible. So let's give it a try. I'm telling you, you can smoke the ball. Okay, folks, a little 331 yard hole. We planted with the model swing. Address the ball. Flare the target side foot out 25 degrees. Bring the rear foot back to whatever distance of the club length that you're playing. Make sure you have a good grip assembly, okay? 55 to 60% of your weight is gonna be on your target side. Those are the basic keys to the model swing. Make sure your shoulders are aligned correctly. All right? And then just go ahead and swing away. You may be surprised. You may be able to play the model swing if you work on a few other things that you need to work on anyway. Improving your grip assembly. I changed my grip from a 10 finger. I went from an overlap grip to a 10 finger grip for 10 years back to an overlap grip. And people say the grip assembly is the most difficult thing to change, but actually it's not. The way you change is by hitting small shots, chip shots, pitch shots, half shots, three quarter shots, and then your hands get accustomed to that new feel. So make sure you're out here working on your game, folks. If you want to improve, you have to work on this game. I'm just swinging nice and smooth as always, but I could play this model swing. I'm telling you, I could play it. I, my game has um, evolved and improved so much over the past few years that um, even with the premium setup, you know, and I, you know, I applaud it, you know, working on the premium setup, it allowed me to really improve my game to a whole different level. But then once I improved my swing path, I was able not to close up as much. Once I start getting a better understanding of the TrackMan ball flight laws, I was able to shape shots and become my own coach on the golf course, you know? And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You want to be able to work on your game and do what you can do. Let me see, I'm right here. All right. Ugh. Ain't nothing but a little wedge into the green little flip wedge. All right. So remember, the model setup is what we're working on today. If you want to play traditional golf, check out Ralph Mann's swing um, book, Swing Like a Pro. It is an excellent book. Swing Like a Pro by Ralph Mann. It has a lot of data in there, a lot of information that you can use regardless of what kind of method of golf you play. If you get that book and research it, you're gonna find a lot of things in there that you're already doing, but it's gonna clean up some of those rough edges also.
Okay, folks. I was kind of surprised with that ball because when I when I hit that ball, I thought I was all over the pin. And then it just dropped out the sky and hit once and stopped. <laughs> That's that change in seasons. You know, we going into fall now. So <laughs> that ball is not traveling like it was traveling just about a, two weeks ago. But I'll show you the pitch mark. I was all over this flag. I was grinning. And then it just hit right. It just hit and dropped out the sky. There go the pitch mark. There go the ball. Wow. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go and trust the lag button. These greens are greens was magnificent just two weeks ago now they're still rolling good but they're going dormant that time of the year i'm not complaining some people already gave up golf we're still golfing All right, so that's a nice little par. Using a different grip, overlap grip, and the model setup. Take care, folks. Okay, let's do it down the line from the model setup. Address the ball with your feet together. Flare your target side foot out about 40, 25 degrees. Bring your rear back to the adjusted needed position depending on the length of the club you're playing. Make sure you have a good grip assembly. Make sure your shoulder are aligned correctly. And the way you're going to do that is making sure your chin is not placed into your chest. All right. And then make sure your shoulders are aligned properly. And then just make a good swing, getting your speed out front, finishing strong, and let the ball get collected in the process. shop right there. Let me run over here and check it out. I, uh, 156 and I took an 8 iron and I just took this difficult shot that's 100% force carry over water on the approach shot. You know, just to, you know, challenge myself. I like challenging myself anytime I'm trying something new. I like to finish up the day hitting very difficult shots that's going to force me to be in the correct positions that I need to be in. And like I said, I, you know, with this model set up, I can see this really working for the traditional golfers or the people who don't want to play the premium setup. You know, they can really play some really great golf out here, just making sure they're doing a few things correctly. And that's what it is. That's what the model setup is all about. It's putting you in the best position to create solid swings based on biomechanica, biomechanical research and data nice little ball force carry over that whole pond hit the little eight iron with a little draw shot hit right here and then just kind of kind of chilled back about three or four feet spent back three feet feet but it's pin high so hey i'm going to keep working on this as you know i've changed my grip i've um i went back to a 
overlapping grip. I really worked hard on my swing path. I really worked hard on shallowing my swing. I worked hard on um, getting my speed out front, finishing strong like Teddy Rhodes. So this has been a very successful year for me. I have worked on lengthening my swing, but I'm really gonna work on it hard this winter where I have the time I'm not worrying about score. I'm gonna really work on trying to lengthen my swing a little bit more. And the way you do that is by making sure you get a nice one piece takeaway. My problem was getting stuck between P1 and P P2 and P3. I corrected that just by having a one piece takeaway. But now I'm just gonna make sure that Jackie Burke, where I'm pointing that club towards the target, and we're gonna keep grinding, folks. It's been one heck of a year.